This is Ademen reporting from ISC 15. We are here with uh, Francesco uh, Rufino uh, from NICE and he will tell us a little bit about the new products they have and the new customers they have. Um, welcome. Thank you very much. Okay, uh, Francesco, Francesco, can you tell a little bit about uh, the company? Yes, so NICE is an, an Italian company, it was founded in 1996. Uh, we are focusing since the beginning in high performance computing, especially we try to improve the usability of high performance computing application on private cloud and on public cloud. And um, what are your main uh, products uh, for that? So we have two main products. The one is Engine Frame and the other one is DCV. So Engine Frame is a web dashboard. So while using Engine Frame, you can very uh, easily plug your application um, into, into, the, into the cloud. And while using DCV, you can very easily remotize the utilization of interactive application. So DCV basically is a network protocol that will compress the pixel on the screen and will send it to the, to the, to the client. Okay, um, so uh, Engine Frame, was that designed for the cloud or? Is it, uh, well, Engine Frame is, uh, mm, is designed for, uh, for the cloud, is designed for the grid, and is designed for an high performance computing cluster. Uh, basically, we, will, we have followed the evolution of high performance computing from, the, from a cluster to the grid and now to the cloud. So you can use on all these different scenarios without any problem. We, okay. have, yeah. we have done um, the ANSYS offering on, on the Amazon cloud is based on nice engine frame and nice DCB. Okay, can you give a, a, a few examples of uh, European customers or yeah. European usage? So, well, Airbus, for example, is one of our customers. We are working very hard with, with industrial manufacturing company. Another very important sector for us is oil and gas. ENI is, a, is one of our customers, one of the most important customers. We have a worldwide de 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 deployment for ENI. And then we are also working in banking and finance. Uh, Bank of Italy, for example, is one of our customers. So the, the main sector for the moment are industrial manufacturing, oil and gas, life science, and of course also research. Mm -hmm. um, it's, it's a kind of portal. Uh, yeah, uh, engine frame is a, is, yeah. a, is, a, is a web interface, that's right. Yeah, yeah. Um, are portals still, uh, how do you say that, still modern, considered modern? Because some people say, well, <laughs> with, uh, with Amazon and Elastic Cloud and stuff like that, you don't need portals, people need to go down to the, the thing. Well, I don't know if you need a portal. I think what you really need is a web interface, definitely. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because web interface gives you the possibility to manage your data and your application whenever you are. You yeah. don't need any specific client. You can work with your tablet, with your phone, with your PC. And with the new release of Engine Frame, we have added much more functionalities on the portal. We are redesigning the, the overall ergonomics, so it's much more easy to use it. And even more important, we have a new uh, interface for design the services. So now, if you want to uh, design a new service, you can use the portal itself. Um, in the previous version, you have to write code, Engine Frame code, if you want to modify how Engine Frame works. So this, we hope it will really simplify the deployment of Engine Frame both for our customer and also for our partners that can help us to deliver this solution worldwide in the market. Do you have, perhaps have an idea uh, what the, the biggest system or the biggest cluster is that is, uh, or the size just about, that, that has an interface with? Uh, uh, well, um, probably the biggest one will come from the oil and gas market, I would say. They use a lot of uh, CPU and also GPU yeah. to, to process all their data, uh, but also, uh, we have done quite a very big installation for some uh, banks, uh, running some CUDA code. Okay. So, um, yes, we have very large installation. Okay. The, um, the interface, are people then uh, customizing it to their own needs or...? Yes, yeah. yes. I mean, as I said, before this release, if you, you can customize Engine Frame, but to customize it, you have to write Engine Frame code, let's say. So you, you must be an expert in Engine Frame code. Uh, from this release on, uh, you will benefit from the web editor. So if you want to customize it, basically you have a, a drag and drop interface, so you can drag all the element of, uh, of the interface you want to build, like, I don't know, a, a, a menu or a Boolean selector, a password selector and so on. So you can really automatically create the interface and when you are done, you can plug it in your application that is running on your cluster or in your cloud. Okay. So that means you can easily create a software as a service offering for both your internal users or even to external one if you want. 
Okay, sounds great. Can we now turn a little bit to the uh, other yeah. other product? So yeah. what? The other product is called DCV. So DCV is a remote visualization protocol. So the idea here is I want not only to run batch application on, on, on the grid or on the cloud, but I also want to run interactive application. So the idea is uh, um, you will run the, the application in the cloud and we will stream the screen, all the pixel in the screen, from the server to the client. So what's new in this EV is uh, now we are using the H264 encoder. This will really improve the, uh, reduce the bandwidth consumption by a factor of, of five and reduce the CPU utilization by a factor of four. And this is possible because we are, we are the first one that are uh, using the NVAN codec that is part of the NVIDIA capital card. So this codec is running on the, on the GPU. So that means that we don't have to use the CPU power to compress the images and send from the server to the client. And this is a very important benefit for the final user. And uh, with, uh, does it, it work with uh, NVIDIA GPU? Yeah. Does it also work with other uh, GPUs? Now at the moment we only support NVIDIA. We have a very straight collaboration. We have included their software developer kit inside our tool. So it's perfectly integrated, um, uh, the NVIDIA card with, with DCV. Uh, but DCV is also integrated with the engine frame. So from the portal you can easily manage all your session. You can decide that you want to share one session with two or more collaborators in your company or with, even with external one. So this is very useful because you can basically, people can work together on the same model and they can also, um, uh, can use it for training, can use it for remote support and so on. So this is a very important feature for us. So, sounds, sounds very good. Are there any new developments in that or, or plans in the near future? or? Well, our plans, is we want to continue to, to work, of course, on our products. Uh, the next release of DCV, will, we will improve the client side. We are developing a new client that will improve more, much more the performance on the client side. Uh, regarding engine frame, we want to enhance the, uh, the template we have for the ISV. So let's say our roadmap is to enforce our collaboration with other ISV like ANSYS and also with cloud providers like Amazon. So, um, that was um, all uh, very interesting. We are here at, uh, at uh, ISC and can you tell a little bit about that? Yeah, thank you. Um, we are very happy to be here. Uh, there is a lot of attention out of boot. I've seen a lot of people coming who want to see our demo. Uh, so uh, we are very happy. I think this conference is uh, extremely important for us. Okay, thank you Francisco. For thank you very much. You're welcome. For Premier Magazine, this was at Emin Reporting.